blessed night it is to be able to offer prayers together to our Lord. Tonight our evening prayer begins on page 626. Today is also the feast of the conversion of St. Paul. Let us begin. O God, come to our assistance. O Lord, make haste to help us. Be present with us, Lord, for this evening. The day which you have given us is nearly complete. Be our light. Scatter the darkness from our midst. Hear us as we lift to you our evening prayer and praise. The day is now past and the evening is at hand. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Eternal God, hereafter, do the wondrous example of the perseverance of your saints. When we are troubled, when our hearts are anxious, revive us in the confident hope you revealed to us in our baptism, the confidence that your Son is near to us and ready to save. Amen. From all the saints in warfare, for all the saints at rest, to thee, O blessed Jesus, all praises be addressed. Thou, Lord, didst win the battle, that they might conquerors be. Their crowns of living glory are lit with rays from thee. Praise for the light from heaven. Praise for the voice of awe. Praise for the glorious vision the per per persecutor saw. Thee, Lord, for his conversion, glory as we pray. Enlighten all our darkness with thy true spirit's ray. Now, Spirit, eternal, three in one, till all the ransom number fall down before the throne, and honor, power, and glory ascribe to God alone. Psalm 116. I love the Lord because he hears my voice and my prayer for mercy. Because he bends down to listen, I will pray as long as I have breath. Death wrapped its ropes around me. The terrors of the grave overtook me. I saw only trouble and sorrow. Then I called on the name of the Lord. Please, Lord, save me. How kind the Lord is. How good he is. So merciful, this God of ours. The Lord protects those of childlike faith. I was facing death and he saved me. Let my soul be at rest again. For the Lord has been good to me. He has saved me from death, my eyes from tears, my feet from stumbling. And so I walk in the Lord's presence as I live here on earth. I believed in you, so I said, I am deeply troubled, Lord. In my anxiety, I cried out to you. These people are all liars. What can I offer the Lord for all he has done for me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and praise the Lord's name for saving me. I will keep my promises to the Lord in the presence of his die. O Lord, I am your servant. Yes, I am your servant, born to your household. You have freed me from my chains. I will offer you a sacrifice of thanksgiving and call on the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. In the house of the Lord, in the heart of Jerusalem. Praise the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from 2 Corinthians. We live under constant danger of death because we serve. So we live in the face of death. But this has resulted in eternal life for you. But we continue to preach because we have the same kind of faith the psalmist had when he said, I believed in God, so I spoke. We know that God who raised the Lord Jesus will also raise us with Jesus and present us to himself together with you. The Father has delivered us from the dominion of darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of our sins. 
He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him all things were created, in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. All things were created through him and for him, and he is before all things. In him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead. For it pleased God that in him all fullness should dwell, and that through him all things might be reconciled to himself. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. In the evening we call to you, O Lord, be merciful and hear our prayer. Seek us for your service, for your steadfast love is better than life. Draw us to yourself, for your steadfast love is better than life. Help us spread the good news, for your steadfast love is better than life. Keep us faithful and vigilant, for your steadfast love is better than life. Adorn us with your glory, for your steadfast love is better than life. Shade us from all discouragement, for your steadfast love is better than life. Father, today we especially pray for those that long to serve you to preach your gospel, to teach your word. We pray for those that are, are priests and bishops and deacons. Give them strength in their faith. We pray for those that are monks and nuns and novices, that they fulfill their calling as they come into your eternal kingdom and the work you've called them to do. Father, we pray for my brother Jeff, who a couple months ago had a stroke and through his recovery now of that, just this week he's suffered a heart attack. We thank you, O Lord, for the medical care he could receive in your name, for the technologies available that spared his life, O Lord. And we pray for him also, O God, as he has a blood clot in his brain that still needs to be taken care of once he recovers from the heart attack. Watch over him, watch over Debbie, his wife, and all their kids, oh Father. Keep them all safe, as I know they're concerned about him. As our Savior Christ has taught us, we boldly pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, through the preaching of St. Paul, you have caused the light of the gospel to shine throughout the world. Grant that we who today celebrate his wonderful conversion may show ourselves thankful to you by following his holy teaching. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For it is you who will redeem me, O Lord my God. Now, O Lord, dismiss your servants in peace. For your word has been fulfilled. Our eyes have seen the salvation you have displayed in the sight of all the peoples, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. May the glory of the Lord rest upon us, and in his peace may we be blessed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. May God's help remain with us always and with our loved ones, both near and far away. May God grant to us a quiet night and a peaceful death. And may souls of the faithful departed, through the mercies of God, rest in peace. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, thank you for joining me this night in prayer. What a blessing it is 
to know that you're there. May we pray for each other so we can lift each other up to God and support and encouragement for each other. Pray for those you love and care for. Pray for those that are your enemies, those that hate you and persecute you. And in all things, give glory to God. Amen.